my girls are my everything. But I likely would have been able to, I would likely would not have ever been able to have them had I not had access to basic reproductive rights that Americans up until recently had been depending on for decades. Because after a decade of struggle with infertility post my service in Iraq, I was only able to get pregnant through IVF. IVF is the reason that I've gone to experience the chaos and beauty, the stress and the joy that is motherhood. IVF is the reason that my husband and I aren't just Tammy and Brian, we're mom and dad. But for countless hopeful parents, that desperately sought after dream of becoming a parent just became so much harder. Last week, Alabama Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos created through IVF should be considered children under state law, a ruling based on extreme ideology rather than on medical science and one that throws IVF access into chaos for countless women as they and their doctors try to figure out whether they might be criminalized for simply trying to start a family. If you're thinking that this makes no, no sense, you're right. The very people who claim to be defending family values are actively trying to enact policies that would actually prevent Americans from creating those families. I know I'm not alone when I struggle to understand how politicians who support this kind of policy can possibly call themselves pro-life. After Roe v. Wade was overturned, actually, even before then, when Donald Trump promised to only appoint justices who would overturn it, I warned that red states would come for IVF. And now they have. But they aren't go just going to stop in Alabama. Mark my words, if we don't act now, it will only get worse. That's why tomorrow I'm headed to the Senate floor to call on my colleagues to pass, via unanimous consent, my Access to Family Building Act which would ensure that every American's right to become a parent via treatments like IVF is fully protected, regardless of what state they live in, guaranteeing that no hopeful parent or doctor is punished. We face a lot of tough calls as senators. This just isn't one of them. Republicans own what happened in Alabama. Republicans own the disasters that emanate from Roe v. Wade. And Democrats are absolutely committed to doing everything, everything we can to protect women families, reproductive freedom. Republicans will learn when it comes to attacks on personal freedoms, the American people do not easily forget. If Republicans seriously want to help fix the chaos and devastation they have worked so hard to create, they can help us restore the rights enshrined in Roe, which they overturned to make all this possible, and they can help us pass legislation to protect and expand IVF care. And our bill, the Access to Family Building Act, is a great place to start. It just does not get more straightforward than this. If Republicans seriously support the right to build families through IVF, they can prove it tomorrow on the floor.